Yes. <laughs> Dr. Millie in the house. All right. <laughs> I appreciate that. The carnivore diet. Because of what we eat. Honestly, you've really touched my heart. And the more I understand the food industry, the more I understand concepts like you just said, I think the only way out is for us to fast because we have to tap into a mechanism where the body can self heal from these kind of chemical traumas. Yeah. And that's a very good point. Of course, you know, fasting is, is a part of all great religions. Now we've ultra processed foods. So we've broken down, we've literally pre-digested all of our food. Yeah. So we now have simple sugars, simple pre-digested amino acids, and simple fats. And what's happened to all of us is that these things all now arrive simultaneously at our mitochondria. And it's literally like rush hour in LA. And what happens is all this traffic tries to get on the mitochondrial freeways. And what happens is nobody moves anywhere. And it's literally, and I show in the book how your energy production from these simple, you know, foods just crawls to a mm. slowdown. Mm. So to get to your question of fasting, most of us no longer have what's called metabolic flexibility. Yeah. Norm, normally, our mitochondria can switch on a dime from using sugar as a fuel to using fats as a fuel. But the vast majority of us no longer have that ability to switch back and forth. Yeah. And some people call it metabolic syndrome, insulin resistance, metabolic flexibility, inflexibility, whatever we want to call it. One of the answers to this is to give your mitochondria less work to do, give them less time that they actually have to do a lot of work and give them more time to recover. And that recovery time is during fasting. Now, it also allows the wall of the gut to heal the less time that you have to spend time digesting food the more time the lining of the gut has to repair itself. The less work it has to do, the better. People hear about intermittent fasting, time-restricted eating, and they go, oh, that's great. I'm going to jump right in. What happens is the vast majority of people, and we see this in, in my clinics for the last 20 years, they can't make a switch from using sugar as a fuel to using mm. fat as a fuel. 